Prince Philip, Sandringham crash led to car tumbling across road. The man who helped free the Duke of Edinburgh from his Land Rover after his crash has described how he saw the vehicle careering across the road. Prince Philip, 97, was not injured in Thursday's crash, also involving a Kia, and is recovering at Sandringham. A nine-month-old baby in the Kia was uninjured. The driver, a 28-year-old woman, had cuts while a 45-year-old female passenger broke her wrist. Witness Roy Warren said the Duke asked about their welfare after the crash. Mr. Warren was driving home when he saw the car roll and end up on the other side of the road. He said the Duke was obviously shaken but managed to stand up and ask how the others involved in the crash were, he said. Mr. Warren told BBC Radio 4's Today program, I saw it careering, tumbling across the road and ending up on the other side. It would take a massive force to have done that. Duke Crash puts spotlight on road safety. Is age a factor behind the wheel? He said that after seeing the crash, on the A149 near Sandringham, I went to the other car. There was a baby in the back and, with another man, we got the baby out. Then I went to the black car to help and realized it was the Duke of Edinburgh. The two women in the Kia were taken to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Kings Lynn to be treated for the broken wrist and cuts to the knee, and were later discharged. The Duke saw a doctor as a precaution. Norfolk Police said it was standard policy to breath test drivers involved in collisions and both had provided negative readings. The incident will be investigated and any appropriate action taken, the force added. Chris Spinks who led Norfolk's Roads policing team for five years, said officers would likely follow up on first-hand accounts and interview those involved. The retired chief inspector added that there would be no favoritism shown towards the Duke during the investigation. Mr. Warren told The Sun newspaper he overheard the Duke telling police he had been dazzled by the sun. Car accidents, younger v older drivers. By BBC Reality Check. In November 2018, there were 5.3 million over 70s with full driving licenses in Britain, according to the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency. There were 11,245 people involved in road traffic accidents where the driver was in that age group, a rate of 2 per 1,000 license holders. For Britain's 2.8 million drivers aged 17 to 24, the rate was more than four times as high, at 9 per 1,000. The DVLA did not provide figures on whether this simply reflected that the older age group were on the road less than the younger age group. However, a separate study from the National Travel Survey suggests that over 70 drive an average of 1,000 miles a year more than under 20 s. Asked if Prince Philip was trapped, Mr. Warren replied, yes, he was. I asked him to move his left leg and that freed his right leg and then I helped him get out. He said he couldn't remember what the Duke and N said, but added that it was nothing rude. He was obviously shaken, and then he went and asked if everyone else was all right, said Mr. Warren. Asked if the Duke and N thanked him for getting him out of the car, Mr. Warren said, no, but he wasn't being discourteous. He had other things on his mind, I'm sure. Mr. Warren said there was a little bit of blood and that a member of what he described as the royal entourage gave him a wipe for his hands, adding a lot of people arrived very quickly. He said the two women involved were very shaken, adding, one of them was the mother of the child and she was quite upset. Norfolk County Council was already due to discuss safety issues on the road, described as a rat run by one local, before the crash took place. On Friday, it approved plans for new safety measures on that section of the A149. The speed limit will be lowered from 60 miles per hour to 50 miles per hour and an average speed monitoring system will be implemented. Prime Minister Theresa May sent the Duke a message wishing him well following the crash. If you are happy to be contacted by a BBC journalist please leave a telephone number that we can contact you on. In some cases a selection of your comments will be published, displaying your name as you provide it and location, unless you state otherwise. 
your contact details will never be published. When sending us pictures, video or eyewitness accounts at no time should you endanger yourself or others, take any unnecessary risks or infringe any laws. Please ensure you have read the terms and conditions.